Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Little Hope. This is part four. Keep oh. a look out for the girl. We have to stop her. Yeah, 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 John. I, for one, hope I never see that girl ever again. Pretty sure she'll be back real soon. If you haven't seen the previous videos, there's a playlist in the description. But, uh, this yeah. This sound crazy, but... What if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? I was only hunted after my double was killed. See, I was thinking the same thing, Andrew, but then I believe I ended the last episode with theorizing that maybe how we save ourselves is not saving our doubles. I don't know. There's gotta be some kind of twist to this. One thing that I keep thinking about is that the curator said very early on to find the bus driver, and we haven't found him yet. I feel like that's gonna clear a lot of things up. Ooh, a premonition. What is it? Ooh, sledgehammer against the door handle. Demon at the door, that's a white frame. Okay, so that's a good thing to do. Block the door. Oh, hi Angela, taking a little rest? What's this? Mary Milton's grave. This is believed to be the resting great. place. There's nothing about how or why she died. This is believed to be the resting place of Mary Milton. Mary was the source of many accusations against alleged witches. Pastor Carver took her under his wing where he instructed her and prayed with her before she incriminated several townspeople. Because of her controversial role in the witch trials, many of the townspeople turned their faces against her. Her remains were buried at the edge of town. I wonder if we decide how Mary dies or if she dies, and that's why it isn't written yet. Speaking of gravestones, uh, Anthony didn't have one, which is very interesting. I'm wondering if we'll see Anthony at some point. If he's still alive, it makes sense that he'd be around here. We've see, we see Vince. Historic restoration. Is Warning. Anything here not falling apart? Dangerous, unstable structure, sight unsafe. I can't, I can't get like two words out without these guys interrupting. Don't they know I'm trying to do a thing here, guys? Come on, I'm trying to make a YouTube video. You know how this, you know how this works. Any of you? Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Thank you, Einstein. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Uh, I don't think it's beautiful. You know, we haven't seen John's double yet. That was Carver's ghost. No, this cannot be. My own eyes deceive me. We finally get to interact with him. My apologies him. for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Abraham. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I should have suspected that he was Abraham. Abraham, Anthony, Andrew. So he's Mary's guardian. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. 
I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Hey, pipe Tell down, Daniel. Tell what the girl did. No one cares what you think. Your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. The priest is the villain. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. I doubt it. I can certainly doubt it. I just did. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. No, it's not. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. I'm like 100%. I'm all what in happened? on this. You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. It went down with Daniel again. Yeah, it went down with Daniel twice? Oh, I'm sorry. Is he that broken up about it? Calm down. You met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. He's so salty about it. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds How you of doing? years ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't right. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. It never happens to me. I wonder why. Yeah, Wet blanket. I that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. Playful. Let's be playful. I want to see playful Taylor. One of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin. A holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. I ain't been surprised we by you yet. <laughs> Fuck this place and this stupid ass crash that got us here. Ow. Ow, it's, it hurts. Okay, get ready. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I I'm ready. I'm keeping you all alive. Taylor! Where are you? Taylor. Follow sounds, follow movement. Sounds? Taylor. Is that you? Okay, I Hold chose correctly. Me. Whatever happens, do not let go. Get out of here. Oh, leave me, get out of here with the others. Hold on to me. Ah. Oh. I did it. <coughs> Let's let's leave. See, it worked out. Okay, remember? So I had a theory in the last one that maybe. Oh, I got a couple achievements. Okay, hang on. Just I hate to pause it, but I just need to get this out. Okay, but I've it's been building up this whole time. So I had a theory in the last video 
that perhaps like like one of the possibilities of what's happening is that um they're like in in, in an in between realm between uh death and the afterlife and maybe they have to prove themselves somehow uh in order to make it through like they have to show that they're better than they were in their lives i don't know something like that so a sacrificial move right there that's why i chose to do that plus it didn't really seem beneficial to just be like help me like he's already doing that so that was an interesting choice it worked out though it worked out let's check that out we'll yeah. get us out of these damn woods and we can talk on the way john's like anyway uh -huh. okay so we're just not gonna talk about it no one cares all right then. So Abraham is Andrew. Why did it wait so long to show us that? It really had me thinking up all sorts of conspiracy theories. So then we, because we haven't had any connections for Andrew at all. Anthony's MIA. They didn't show Abraham until now. Speaking of Anthony, there's a reason that he lived through the 70s and we haven't seen him yet, right? Okay. Hmm. But wait, hey, that kind of throws a wrench in the whole reincarnation thing, if Anthony's still alive. Then that means they can't be reincarnated because Andrew's there. I don't know. I'm not going to think about it too much until we encounter him. What happened back there with that thing? It's gone. What do you think? Let's just say it's gone. Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I it, really hope you're right. It's, it's coming back. Only a matter of time before they come after us again. It's coming. That's a it's pretty negative outlook you got there. We might have missed our chance. We must stop Mary. I, I don't care about Mary! There's got to be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is. A liar and a fake. Oh, I didn't realize Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? Because she's not we wise. We know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on, let's take a look. Okay, investigate the large building. Yeah, what is this large building? Take a look at this. Ooh, another premonition. Why not? Oh. Oh! That's a black frame premonition. I don't even need to check that out. But I will. Yeah, black frame. Okay, so John getting his neck snapped by a very strong creature there. All right, so that's something that can happen. How can we prevent it though? It didn't really help us with that. Hmm. Let's inspect this. Mayor Hale's land deal. Fears protests will surely escalate as closure looms. So this is the factory. This this large building's the factory. The one that, um, oh, what's his face? James worked at. Getting serious, real serious. Carver for mayor. Vote Carver for mayor for our future prosperity. Samuel Carver. Okay, so, wait, well, well, when was that? Was that, is that Reverend, well, it was Reverend Carson. Oh, you know what I just realized? Carver Carson. But then it's back to Carver in the present day? That's weird, it hasn't done that before. Nobody's had, like, the same name in two different eras. Alright. Let's go up here, though. Hey, John. 
You're doing a great job leading us, bud. Okay, I guess I'll just... Check no one this else out. wants to do it. I'll do it. Hey! They're coming! You can't keep running! I'll make sure they'll find you! That guy's a menace. What? I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. They're coming, but then he acted like they couldn't, he, he couldn't see them earlier. Unless he's talking about something else. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who oh, faced no. the devil's wrath, to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. The nerve. Yes, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No of decision can be made guy. on the child until then. Judge Wyman's like, get off my back, dude. Abraham. What, what's it, this Carver guy? He's like relentless. What am I to do? A fountain of energy. Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm. I'm done with getting a aggro over the kid. Okay, I'm not doing this it anymore. This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Hey, yeah, you think about that. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it. Mary has spoken of evil spirits. Devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. He's, he wants to Mary is relax. Tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now no. stand down. No, I don't like that. All right, Abraham. I mean... Kind of screwed things up a little bit. <laughs> kind of your fault. All right, let's explore this. Um, Tell me everything. Oh, uh, we gotta did you update see Andrew's them. double again. He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong. Like, she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit. So what happens now? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. 
That's gotta be good, right? What do you think? Is he right about this? Supportive. It went down just like he said. Okay. Yeah, we need to get off of this Mary's the Evil One bandwagon. I'm not buying it. What the fuck? I mean, maybe she's we tricking can't me. Stay. Let's get out of here. Okay. Well, I'm. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm staying here. Oh, we got like a shining what moment. Those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. Life yeah. as a kid in the seventies. Everything was ahead of me. Yeah, you recognize anyone? I don't. Maybe I'm just not seeing them. Okay. There's like, gotta be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor. I guess those are real people. I guess it'd be kind of weird if it was just suddenly like, and there's James. Yeah, let's uh, let's put this back up. In memory of James Clark, sadly missed by his many friends and colleagues, 1972. The Clarks. Yes, that was their name, right? Their family name in the 70s, the Clarks. Hmm. The Clarks and the Carvers. What is this? Kiss my ass. No, 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 pick it up. Oh, it does this thing sometimes. You have to, you have to keep it held down. I want to flip it. I want to flip it and see what's on the other side. They graffitied that on the end of, uh, on, on the other side of something important a bit. There we are. Dear Mr. Barnes, subject, employment warning letter. It's all in caps. So it's like they're shouting it. Following our recent disciplinary meeting, I am writing regarding your attendance and behavior. Management have made every effort to accommodate your difficult circumstances and recent injury by accepting your recurring absences. However, continued warnings regarding attendance, lateness, and intoxication have prompted us to issue a formal written warning. Further repetition of this behavior or other misconduct within the next 12 months will result in dismissal. Ravenden expects our employees to be enthusiastic, punctual, and sober. You must acknowledge receive this letter. Please sign and return to the foreman's office in seven days, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, Mr. Barnes, who could that be? I don't know who that could be. What's up? TC. Remember we found that thing that said TC on it? Oh, that's the family. That's the Clarks. The family photo. Get over here. You gotta see this. Oh, it's all of them. It's all of them. Come on, come on. Gather around. This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From oh. this night? I thought it was From mad. From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. You're not gonna show it to everyone? I what thought, I thought- about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? It's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. Hang on, I'm trying to follow you, Andrew, okay? Give I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait, who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But they're around the same age as us, as far as I can tell. Hey, Vince's locker. What's the story here? She leave him for some other guy? That's Taylor. Ta Tanya and Vince. Oh, she's got he's got it ripped out. 
Hmm. It's like I said. Oh. Oh, Taylor, you scared the shit out of me. God, why are you standing there all creepy? <laughs> what was that all about? Little Hope Factory to close. Hundreds of layoffs will gut the town. Nearly 600 jobs are set to be lost in Little Hope when the Ravenden Textile Factories closes its gates at their Harvard Road site in September. Layoffs will include workers at the main factory and ancillary businesses across the town. That's a $2 word, ancillary. It's not actually a really basic one. The decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver, a director in the family business that has been the primary employer in the town for over 160 years. With great sadness, we have made this decision. We consider the workers of the fa at the factory to be part of our extended family. <laughs> yeah, right. And know how much Ravenden means to them, but we can no longer continue to run the business. Dialogue with the Carver family, said McCarthy. Okay, we skipped. But while the daughters have been receptive to the union's ideas for saving the factory, Mayor Carver has rejected them at every turn. He went on, We want a partnership with the family to save their business and our livelihoods, but it seems as if the mayor does not accept partners. Another union worker who did not want to be identified expressed this bitter opinion. This is all about the land. The Carvers have owned the town for generations. They can't profit from the land. They will shut it all down. As the main source of income, for the majority of the town's families, many are worried what the future will bring. The factory closing will gut the town, one factory worker told the Herald, adding, We, ferrymen, bus drivers wanted. Full training given, uniform provide. Ferrymen, that's the brand that's on the side of the bus that we were on. Bus drivers wanted. Yeah, that's it. Why would this be here? Is the bus driver Anthony? That'd be a twist. But if he... Because that'd be after the factory closed, which is after the family died. Hmm. Like, there's really... The bus driver is such a mystery. Oh, uh, is this Wyman? Okay. Oh, I found I found something on the floor. Thomas Wyman presided over the conviction of several witches in Little Hope. He died in 1702 or 1701. He later regretted placing so much weight on a child's testimony. The current factory was founded on the site of Wyman's residence. Really. Oh, that's why we had the flashback there. That makes sense, I guess. What's this? Daniel, you're finding all sorts of stuff. Resourceful man. Samuel Notchett Lewiston. Hmm. Having read Captain Bond's letter attesting the affair within Lieutenant Hope and heard the petitions of the townsmen, I write to express my signal concernment. Pastor Carver's teaching strayed from true doctrine and piety. His mind wandered from the fellowship of saints and surrendered into sin over many years. Please attend to his past behaviors, which infect and corrupt the town. I ask a commission be appointed to examine such affairs of last year, including the matter of the girl, thy servant. Thos Wyman, judge. Thos Wyman. But wasn't your name... Oh, Thomas. Duh. Oh, yeah. You put it next to the trophy cabinet. Okay. Interesting that that's out here. Why is that out? All right, Taylor, are you still creeping around over here? What? There's so much. Factory closure. Yeah, we get it. It closed. Tell tell me something new. The factory is closed due to liquidation of Little Hope Textiles Limited. Following several incidents since the closure, the factory has been placed off limits. Attempts to enter their premises will be treated as criminal trespass. Any former workers wishing to retrieve property can contact our office. Hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These characters annoy me. 
Uh, can I go this way? All right. I think I'm done over there. Andrew, you just been hanging out here waiting for me? Angela, what are you doing? What's anyone here doing? Okay. So what's your theory, smart guy? <laughs> oh, good thing I did that. You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here now. All right. Yes, thank you very much. What's this? Oh, oh, oh. Canceled That's order. Heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? Please. Would it kill you to say please? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Get ready for the QTE. Good. Now, push! I gotta be immersed in exerting effort. Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! This is not good. Daniel? You okay? No, he- Well, what are the odds? What are the odds? Andrew, pull up. Pull up. Oh, oh, pull up, pull up. Hold. Oh. Savage. Come on, guys. Pull him up. Go! It worked last time. It worked last time. He is still down there. Say something. Let us know you're okay. Let's go before anything else happens. Okay, John. I thought you were here to like guide your students to safety. Ugh. John annoys me. Okay. They all annoy me, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Uh. So what, that's it? No, he's gotta still be alive. Come on, come on. Daniel? Where the fuck are you? Answer me! Taylor, you, you're looking rough. You see Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Yeah, the nice thing in this game about the magic fog is that it, from what I understand, it's like a battle royale. It's like Fortnite. It's like slowly pushing us into the center of town, right? So, all he has to do is run to the fog and he'll eventually be reunited with us. Oh, hi Angela, we're playing as you. My bad. You okay, Daniel? He's not here. Where the fuck has he got to? He's not here. Daniel, please answer me. Stay cool. We'll get him back. We'll, we'll see him later. He'll show up like right in the nick of time and use one of the fence posts to like stab one of the monsters and he'll be like, huh, need a hand? Or <laughs> he'll take one of the fence posts, he'll stab one of them and he'll be like, I think I made my point. <laughs> 
Mm. Coach always told me to post up. <laughs> Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Andrew! Oh! Hey! You guys! I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. See, he's like... At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. <sighs> okay, it was just a generic, Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Can't get rid of me that easy. Is that... Who was that? Wait, was that... Okay, we've you we've that kid, Mary? we've fended off Not Taylor's and Daniel's, so Angela's and and John's are the only ones left. Let's examine the car hood. Oh, do we recognize this? What's the secret? Old car. What? Have we seen that symbol somewhere else? Is it significant somewhere? Why would a symbol like that be on a car? Burn in hell. Nice. Released. We'll try to forget I just saw this. Released. Mr. Clark, leaving the Little Hope Police Department yesterday. A line has been drawn under the tragic case of the Clark House fire. Onlookers watched as Anthony Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, it's confirmed he didn't die was released from police. Thursday afternoon, one onlooker said, that poor boy, he must be going through hell right now. The Herald approached Mr. Clark for comment, but he has not... something, something, blamed Clark, who was found with a box of matches in his hand at the scene. That guy! For causing the fire. When Clark left the Little Hope Police Department, passersby were heard to... and then burn in hell. Yeah, that guy, like, immediately after... I had gone outside. He was like, what did you do? Hmm. Yeah, I think I think it was played by the same actor who plays the Judge Wyman guy, but I can't see that being relevant. Cause that that was just some dude. I completely forgot about that guy till just now. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, what is there fog over here? Oh, we can't go this way. All right. All right, well, uh, yeah, I'll just go. Everybody's waiting for me. Sorry. You see that? Is it Mary, the girl? What is with this kid? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. <laughs> Anything could happen. Stay on your toes. You really gotta shriek every time you do that? You really no gotta shriek every time? Safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You oh. must die today. He's getting crushed. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife! There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe! Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? Uh, I got in no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'll tell this infects you in madness. Roy, you buddy. Six servants. We have to stop this. Help Joseph confront Mary. Help Joseph? I mean, but isn't this just gonna prove his point? We can't lift this. Come on! Help me! Look! There can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. See, we're just. It's like we can't help more them. Stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Look, Pilgrim Hat Man's getting mad. 
The fate of Little Oak rests in your hands. He died exactly like uh, James Clark did. Exactly like John might die. What are their last names, actually? What are what are these guys' last names? Hello? What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? <laughs> what the hell? Got the sledgehammer. I'm tired of running. Oh, we gotta you barricade crazy? ourselves. We gotta move. We gotta barricade ourselves. Oh, and Angela's is here too. Who's oh, sorry? John, please hurry! Okay. Come on, you fuck! I'm ready. Oh. Oh, this thing is... I mean, that's a sledgehammer. That's gonna do some damage. That's a lot of damage! Okay. Nice. In with the hills. That's right, John. All right, come on, come on. Yeah, hit him. Almost missed that one. Man. No need to name call. Let's move, guys. Come on. Oh. Gotta help Angela. That's right. That thing is crazy. I like that one. Oh, he's doing his exorcist walk. Okay. No! I thought I was out. They keep pulling me back in! Get inside! No! Okay, Andrew. Oh, okay. I didn't have to do that. Yeah, okay, we saw this from the premonition. We gotta go! Like now! Leave me and go. That's what we gotta say. It's been working so far. Is only interested in me. Get out of here! Go! I'll hold it back! You can get away! Escape! I did! You don't have to do this! This is stupid! Get out of there! Oh, but it worked out. Is it gone? It worked I out. I can't see it anymore. Where the hell is the bus driver? Sorry, it's bugging me now. Where in God's name are we now? Place looks like it burned down. Oh Something no. Isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. Bus driver's in here. Yeah, this is the uh this is the Clark's house. Look, ruined house. It burned down. This is the Clark's house. Oh, this has gotta be it. Okay. He's in here somewhere. We're gonna get some answers. Hi. Let me get let me get a premonition, okay? 
What's this? What's this? What? I'm sorry, what? Who was that? Who? Preview of the next game. Oh, man, I was like, excuse, who is this lady? <laughs> we must be near the end then. Oh, I missed a lot of premonitions. Okay. Let's go back out there. I was just kidding. I didn't press it. So Mary's going upstairs. Okay. Inspect. Let's inspect it. Are they out there? Seems pretty... Chill now. Maybe they respect this place. Uh... Okay. And he's still out there. Keeps getting hit with sledgehammers. He doesn't care. What's this? Oh. That's, um, yeah. That's the kid. Well, wait. Huh. Am I right about Mary not being evil? Because her reincarnated form is... Hmm. Who is she listening to? Letter from Reverend Carson. Uh... Oh no. Did it freeze? Yeah, it froze there. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna try again. Okay. Letter from Reverend Carson, September 71. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I have helped parents with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrews 12.11 says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Uh, please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction. Okay. There's so many parallels between these three time periods. Okay, we can go up the stairs, but um, what was that? Wait, there's some stuff in there that I want to check out. Can I get in there? Open? No, I don't, I'm not gonna open the door, bro. I guess I'll go up. I There's some other stuff over there, but I don't know how to get to it. What was that? Gotta be the girl. Let's go find her. Well, it's too late now. I mean, I guess I could have gone all the way around, I think. Oh, darn. I could have gone that way. Whatever, I've been pretty... She's in here. I don't think any more lore is gonna help me. What the hell? Stay here. This feels very finale-esque. Hey, Bigfoot. Find the goddamn vital, will ya? Andrew. What's going on? <laughs> will you leave me alone for one second? Kid, damn. He knows I was about to confess all to the judge. No way. Will you protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Okay, so this is... Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This mm. court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? He's gonna agree. The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. <sighs> Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. 
This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. Oh, now you guys. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That what was she supposed to say? So. Liar! Now this death, child. This creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Oh, hell yeah. It's you, dude. This is crazy. These people have lost their freaking minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Now you don't help me. What can I do? Why is she talking to if me? I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. <sighs> oh, Abraham. I beg the court's indulgence. He speaks up. Please guide me at this time. This seek your counsel. Oh, now you want to listen to me. Carver is evil. Carver's evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive us any longer. Actually, Your true purpose is plain to see. If we get I rid of Carver, town will we change history? Evil. You're messing this up. Carver isn't the one you should be calling out. No, I'm not messing it up. Taylor, you don't know what you're talking about. I can lie. I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. Destroy the damn doll. No, you have to stop Carver. I'm you insisting. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Yeah, because if we get if we get Carver ousted, then maybe the factory won't close down. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? Mm. What are you saying? Speak up. What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. Because we found the Bible with Daniel. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? That's because we found it. Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth a stares kid. at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing. The devil's daughter has deceived you all. Not me. I see her. I see her. Satan's fall. You will pay heavily for your crimes. I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. Hmm. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. Did I make the right you decision? Saved me. I shall remember you all, my dears. It was a very impassioned speech there at the end. Got me second guessing. I was so confident. But I didn't nah. But I didn't save you. Is he talking about Megan? You did it. It worked. It did? 100% you made the right call. That jerk of a priest was the real bad guy. Sure, yeah. I mean, I should feel great. Uh, but I don't. I, I, I feel nothing. Come on. Let's get out of here. But I didn't save you. Mm. You look pleased. What just happened? I, I do. I don't look pleased. We're all done here. All right. Well, the sun's rising, so... Good, <laughs> good ending? But I feel like there's so many unanswered questions. <laughs> I really thought something crazy was gonna go down. Where's the bus driver? Yeah, this feels very much like it's hey. all over. Uh oh. I'm talking to you. Hey! 
talking to you. You should have stayed away. Never come back here. I'll never forget or forgive you for what you did. Oh. I don't want any trouble, okay? We're going. And we're not coming back. The only place you should be heading is hell, you goddamn murdering son of a bitch. What? That's him! What? Look out. That son of a bitch has a gun. What this the hell is this about? You seem a little confused. No, please. Wait. You don't understand. This is what he meant by they're coming. Is it because I shot at you? What? I didn't do anything! Oh. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I literally joked about this. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. I literally joked about that in the opening scene. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Oh, uh, so when he when he He's Anthony. The bus driver is Anthony. I said that. The bus driver is Anthony. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? Yeah, that's funny. That's why he says that's funny because we are the we were the bus driver Sounds saying like you that. Can use a drink. Better not. Thanks. I need to keep a clear head. Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. There's no goddamn us. I thought it was weird that he said that. I even commented on it. And when he said, I, but I didn't save you, he was talking about Megan. So when he returns to Little Hope, uh, through the detour, he's having to confront all of his grief after so many years. Hey! And that's what this is all... You Motherfucker, you! You take a goddamn shot at me! A representation of. Hey, cool it! I was, I was trying to help. Didn't you see that thing? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here. Hey! They're coming. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. It's okay. I'm gonna be just fine. They're not there. Oh. Remember when I said Vince only interacts with Andrew? Andrew? Oh, and then so the entire so the entire story of the of the witch hunt. Okay, I'll talk later. That that's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You okay. could always try again, see if you can get a different result. You're smug, aren't you? Oh, give me a break. Congratulations. Your single charge found a way through the guilt, the horror, and came away whole. And you eventually found him. Yeah. The bus driver. 
Yeah, Maybe thing. he can now put the past behind him. Hmm. Yeah. So this this whole experience was about confronting your past. Uh. A very Silent Hill too. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. Very specific examples. But we will meet again. At least one more time. Yeah, so the entire, the whole thing, like, hey guys, it's John. I hate to do this, but Facecam John is gonna have to take a hike for a little bit because now that I've had more time to think about and unpack the story of Little Hope and its ending, I wanted to do a more cogent analysis of it and give my interpretation of what happened because the game resonated with me, I think, because of some experiences I've had this year, and so I might have a different take on it than most people. I think most... I, I, I think most of you guys might look at the ending and the story and be annoyed by it. You might think, oh, so the twist is that Anthony's just crazy, and it's all in his head. These people are, are dead slash don't exist and it's a mental illness uh, horror trope, which I wouldn't like that either, so I'm there with you. But I don't think that's what this game is. This game, to me, is not about mental illness, it is about grief. And maybe that's because, um, maybe you know, I lost my father earlier this year, so maybe it, it kind of struck a chord with me more in that way, and that's why I'm interpreting that way, but I think that there's some things in the game that back it up. So I, th I think the most damning evidence in the game for, well, Anthony's just crazy, is he shows the bus full of empty people and says, I need to get these people where they need to go, but there's no one there. They show him wandering around town, arguing with people that aren't there, shooting at monsters that don't exist. It kind of comes across like he's just mentally ill. But I don't, I, I think it's a mistake to interpret this game literally. Because, as, as it turns out, you know, a lot of it is a representation, it's an allegory. And to me, it's an allegory for grief. Because, imagine what this guy's been through, Anthony. He... His entire family died in a tragic fire that he blames himself for. And, not only that, as soon as, as it was over, as they died, the entire town was turning into a ghost town. It was deserting because the factory shut down. And so, you know, he gets a job as a bus driver and that's kind of, he, he has to start his life all over. That must be very traumatizing. And not only that, if, I mean, as someone who's been through my share of grief this year, uh, those things don't go away. It's, it's difficult to confront your grief. It's difficult to confront your past and your guilt. And I think that's exactly what Anthony's doing in this game. And that's the story of Little Hope. It's not that he's crazy and that he's hallucinating and imagining things that aren't there. It's, you know, when he, when he points to the bus and says, I gotta get these people where, where they need to go. I think that's a representation of him carrying around the baggage all his life. He's, he hasn't ever confronted it. He hasn't ever let it go, and he carries these people with him that he lost 30 years ago, 40 years ago, and he's not able to move on from his his past. And throughout the game, um, you know, there, there's evidence of that. He, he brings them with him on all his adventures. There's danger at every turn. They're saving. He's saving them. He's he's going back. He, he wants to save Megan from the fire, specifically. And that's what this whole witch hunt allegory is about. It's it's literally a witch hunt. Because he doesn't know who's responsible for the fire. Maybe he can't accept that it was an accident. Maybe the only explanation is that there must be evil forces at work. He gets blamed by the guy outside his house, which by the way, it's not coincidence that the guy outside his house that said, what did you do, plays Judge Wyman. He plays Judge Wyman because Anthony feels that he was being judged by that person in that circumstance. And so in his 
witch hunt allegory, that guy plays the judge. And I think by, um, it, he, he only has a couple of routes to go for guilt. It's like, it's either his weird little sister started the fire, right? Um, and he, he has no idea why she would do that unless she was under the influence of evil forces. Or, I think, when you accuse Carver, I think he blames the Carvers for shutting down the factory, causing his dad to drink and pass out. The fire starting, he was, he, he died in the living room, he couldn't, he couldn't help, uh, Anthony save everyone. I think that's what's going on there. But I, I really want to drive home, I really think that this story is about, um, grief and guilt and not mental illness. And maybe I'm wrong about that, but I think one thing about it that supports that is that at the end, in the ending I got, he's in the back of the police car, right? And he says for the first time, he says, I'm gonna be okay. And up until that moment, he kept saying we, he kept saying us. Even on the road, when Vince is confronting them, he said, we're leaving and we're never coming back. But then in the back of the police car, he says, I'm gonna be okay. And I think that's representative of him accepting his grief and moving on from it. I mean, imagine how traumatizing it is to have a detour run through the town, the ghost town, where your family all burned to death in front of you in a house. That's is probably bringing up his past and these memories for him that he hadn't confronted in many years. He probably had never dealt with his grief, and I think that's what this game is all about. So with that said, um, I'm going to leave you now to my live reactions. Thank you for listening. Do we get an ending scene here? Do we get something? Because I think we got... Uh, didn't we get one? Yes! Believe in God. Absolutely not. We'll start believing. That's the girl that we saw. You are under attack by... I don't know what. You wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe it and I was there. In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes. Where they lived on dust, plagued by the demons of the underworld. House of Ashes. Okay, so I'm guessing that's gonna come around October 2021 too. Well, uh, sign me up. I like these games. I'm I'm down to play more. I got a couple of achievements. So my ending that I got, everyone lived. Lived. But uh Anthony got got carted away. I mean they, 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 he didn't do anything. Is, is it all because I shot at Vince? Ah, oh, That's too bad. I thought about taking that shot. I was like, what am I doing this for? But then I just did it anyway. Um, so I guess it wasn't like the best ending that you could get. That's a shame. Hmm. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna actually play this again. Uh, to see if I can get a bit of a different result. I'm probably going to play it co-op and I'll probably stream it and then I'll probably put the stream on YouTube. That's my plan. I don't know when. I don't know when it's going to happen. Probably in the next week or so. But, um... Yeah, I'm probably going to play with my friend Sino because he played it and I don't think he got a, a good ending is what he told me. So, maybe everybody died. I don't, I don't know. Did I just luck out and everybody lived? I'm pretty good at making everybody lived in the uh, everybody live in these games. Usually, I think I had one person die in Man of Medan, kind of bullshit. But uh, everybody lived in my first playthrough of Until Dawn. I remember that. Anyway, enough bragging. I'm sitting here like I call all the twists, and everybody lives when I play the game. Blah, blah, blah. But one of these days I'm gonna play these games and uh, everyone's just gonna die. I'm not gonna know what's going on and that's just gonna be a reputation killer, isn't it? Let me know what you thought about Little Hope. Um, I'm gonna anticipate that I liked it a bit more than you did. So, <laughs> that's okay, different opinions. But yeah, let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.